Alright guys, welcome back to another Call of the Wild the Angler video. Today we are headed out here on the new South Africa Reserve and on this occasion what I'm gonna show you are some of the diamond locations that have been found recently and that have been posted on the official The Angler Discord server. I didn't discover any of these locations myself, so the credit goes to whoever posted them first on the official server. Oh, not even sure if that is a mogul, but it looks big. Looks like the biggest we have seen so far in case it is a mogul. Okay, it is putting some high tension on the 2 kilo line. So I wanna think we're about to catch what will probably be our biggest mogul so far. Many bronzes and silvers, but only one gold so far and that was on the early access, it was quite small. Let's see the size of this one. 1.77 kilos, our second gold mogo, on a hook size number 6 with tow, it works great for them on this spot. Man, there's a giant mogul right here next to us, on this corner. It looks massive. Really hope it is the diamond. You'd be fantastic, so let's pay attention to the tension bar. Not gonna lie, I was expecting more. Seems like this is just another gold. Yeah, 1.64 kilos, not even as big as the last one. Man, I swear it looked bigger on the water, I thought it was gonna be diamond for a second. At least it's good to see the golds are starting to spawn, because yesterday I spent like an hour here without a single gold. Bro, that looks decent, but I won't say anything anymore because we're just setting ourselves up for disappointment. Promising tension. But again, I think it is lacking that extra strength that I would expect from a diamond. It is pulling hard, but he won't really give us any trouble. I wouldn't completely rule out the possibility of it being a small diamond though. May surprise us. Let's see. 1.79 kilos, another gold, in our new personal best. I'll take it. Not a diamond, but it's a nice catch. Oh wow! This one caught me completely out of card. I heard an evil and it only gave me like one second to start recording. Apparently it will be our biggest mogul so far. And potentially our first diamond. I've seen many people saying that the moguls are an easy diamond, but honestly based on my personal experience I cannot relate. These guys have been tough in the sense that I've had to catch dozens of bronzes and silvers to get just a handful of golds and maybe this first diamond. Now this guy is finally starting to get hurt, it is giving up. And man I have high expectations for this one. High expectations, it is a nice mogul. Very nice mogul. Surely our new personal base, but we cannot be completely convinced there is a diamond until we land it. I don't even know how heavy the golds get, so we'll see. Is this our first diamond mogul? Fingers crossed. Yes, finally! Finally a diamond. Man, that's one of the ones I really wanted to get. One of the ones I wanted the most. It is not a beautiful fish by any means, but the model is great. I've said it several times before, I think the models on this map are all fantastic, except for the model of the purple labeo, which in my opinion looks like a squeaky toy. I mean, those could look a lot better, but overall I think they did an amazing job recreating each of the new fish. So the hotspot on which I got this diamond, I'ma show you the spot here on the map, is essentially this spawn right here on the Cradle of Mankind. I would recommend you to arrive here in the morning, and as for the setup, a hook size number 6 with tow is honestly a great option for this location since it is gonna let you catch everything from bronze to diamond. I may be wrong, but that looks like a pretty decent sized mogul. A nice mogul. Wouldn't be surprised if it is another diamond. That would be fantastic. 
Although based on attention, I don't think it will be as heavy as the last one since it is not firing as hard, it's not taking as much line. Come on. My guess is that it will be a small diamond, but we'll see. And it is another diamond, 2.22 kilos. Another diamond mogul, our second. Amazing catch. And the trend continues. Normally after I struggle to get a first diamond of a particular species, a lot of times I tend to get a second quite quickly. Like a lot quicker than the first one. And I also got this one on a hook size number 6 with dough by the way. Now the next spot I visited after finally getting the diamond mogul is this lake right here. It is a known diamond location for spotted bass and I'm pretty sure they can spawn anywhere within this lake. So you can perfectly get a diamond by fishing from the shore, maybe taking these markers as reference. But another option you have, as you can see here, is to get a boat on the lake. A John boat. It has to be a John boat because those can be pushed. I mean, this is completely unnecessary since as I said it is more than possible to catch a diamond by casting from the shore, but it can be nice to have a bit of extra mobility by having a boat there as well as having the possibility to fish the center of the lake, which can also be a great spot for this spotted bass. So the only way I've seen that makes possible to get a John boat on this lake is to go to this boat pallet right here, spawn a John boat, get it to the shore, and start pushing it all the way down to the lake. Make sure to place a waypoint. It is gonna take some time, it is gonna take some practice, but it's the only way to get a boat on that lake. And it is completely up to you to decide if you wanna spend time doing this, because as I said, it is completely unnecessary when it comes to getting a diamond on that lake, since it is more than possible to catch one by fishing from the shore. Now, talking about the setup, I would recommend you using to fish on this lake, whether if you decide to do so from the shore or from a boat, is a number 6 frog, or a hook size number 6 with either red worm or minnow in case you wanna use a float setup. Just remember that on this lake the diamonds can spawn pretty much everywhere, so try casting in different directions, try casting in different distances, and hopefully at some point, after catching many bronzes and silvers, the diamond will come. Is that one big? It is a spotted bass. Yeah, high tension, man, that is a big boy. First one that takes this 4 kilo line to cherry red. We are about to land a nice bass, maybe diamond. Let's see. 3.62 kilos, it is a gold. Our first gold spotted bass. I wonder how big the golds get before becoming diamond, because this guy is massive. Really nice bass. Another nice bass on the same place. Oh! It is also a giant. Heavier than the last one in fact. And we're currently using a hook size number 6 with minnow. It is working great. Not sure if I prefer it over using a popper, but it's also a great option in case you are not a fan of using lures. So let's see how heavy is this one. And there we have it, it is a diamond. It is a diamond, our first diamond sported bass. 4.85 kilos. Almost 11 pounds. Man, what a nice catch. It's kinda crazy that we got our first diamond right after catching our first gold because we had to catch like 50 silvers before this. Oh, this one is nice, eh? Maybe huge. 3.46 kilos, another gold. Now with a number 7 frog, near the center of the lake. You know, the only reason why you may want to push a young boat down to his lake is simply to be able to reach this area, which can definitely be a nice spot for these guys. Hold up! Wow, what do we have here? What do we have here? Is this our second time on Spotted Bass? We've been slaying this bass with a size 7 frog, and actually after the last gold I've got another 5 golds easily. 
So I think it's time for another diamond. Look at the size of this bus. Oh, no way, it is only gold. I thought it was gonna be diamond, but it's actually our biggest gold so far, 3.77 kilos. That's a huge gold. I don't wanna know what is the minimum diamond weight, because there is probably incredibly close to this. Maybe 3.8. Oh, hold up, there's one about to bite, on the number 4 popper has to be big. Yeah, really big. Finally another truly huge pass, I've lost count on how many goals I've caught since the last diamond. And as I said, now I'm using a number 4 popper which is for goals and better. Normally I'm not a fan of using gold hooks because most of the times you'll have to wait a lot of time between bites since only the big ones are able to buy them, but in some occasions they still can be useful. Like for example if you are getting bronzes and silvers almost every cast, it can be a good idea to test the wires using a gold hook and see if there's a big one already in the area. Now we are only a few seconds away from landing this monster. It is a really big bus, I mean look at the size of it. I would say there's a very high chance it is our second diamond of this species, so let's land it. Yeah, that's a diamond. 4.69 kilos, let's go. Love to see it. Our second diamond spotted bus. I think having a blast fishing this guy, so it's great to see another diamond. Oh, no way. That's some tension. This guy is a giant canary corper. On a hook size number 7 with bloodworm. Oof! Look at that, guys. Look at that. Not even a cold jet, and there we have the first diamond. 0.98 kilos. This guy is huge. I know it is huge because the record is currently exactly 1 kilo. It is a huge diamond. Honestly, I was not expecting to get one so quickly, but this spot has surprised me because I'm using a hook size number 7 and bloodworm, and I've been catching almost exclusively canary corpers. It is almost like the canary corper paradise. Holy! This guy is big. 0.79 kilos, man. I think the minimum diamond weight is 0.8. So close from our second diamond. Very, very close. No shot. Same tension as with the last one, literally the next cast. We've been having a really good first hour on this spot so far. Some crazy spawns. I wonder if this one is a diamond. No, it is another gold. 0.79 again. That is weird. Back to back 0.79s. Yes, that is the kind of tension I wanted to see. This one is big. Safe to assume it is bigger than any of the calls we have gotten so far. Like, that is some diamond kind of tension. Now we're about to land it. Where are you? Let's go, another diamond. Let's go. 0.88 kilos. What a beautiful fish. This may be my favorite of all the new species, to be honest. You know, all the corpers look amazing, but these ones, with such a striking color, they take the cake in my opinion. Really good looking fish. Nah, no way, you cannot be serious. You cannot be serious, this guy is giving us the same tension as the diamond. What in the world? Back to back diamonds. Holy. I don't know what to say. 
I don't know if we think Joe's incredibly lucky or this pot is simply crazy. What I can say though is that the amount of canary corpers I've caught here, regardless of the size, has been impressive. It is probably the best of the known locations to catch canary corper, no doubt. So I'ma show you the spot here on the map, it is exactly right here on this pond. I'm pretty sure the whole pond is a known dam location for them, but on this case I limited myself to fishing only around this area, from this bridge. You know, make sure to cast towards both sides of the bridge using a hook size number 7 with bloodworm, but if you are not getting bites with this number 7, what you can do is to simply switch over to a hook size number 8 and try to catch some of the smaller fish that are probably gonna be in the area in order to hopefully make some big ones to spawn at some point. So anyway guys, that's gonna be it for today's video, if you enjoyed this kind of content, don't forget to leave a like and a comment to support the video and please consider subscribing to the channel to receive the notifications for all the upcoming guides. So with that said, thank you for watching and see you next time.